Hello, this is Dana with the Freedom Police Channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming on today totally like unedited and raw, so y'all gonna hear that a lot. And I'm explain why. But if you're interested in just looking at some of the fabrics that I plan to use for an upcoming quilt along, well then stick around. If not, I will see you hopefully in the next video. So I'm gonna get right into this. Um, there is a blogger that I follow, and I just love looking at her quilts so much that I have subscribed to the blog, and I love seeing when she posts and just looking at her quilts. And um, I've been really just stewing on what I wanted to do to get my blog on Essence of Me back going, to get creating more videos, but really I want to do it vlog style and I've been doing this and I just haven't figured out how to make it happen to get the editing and all of this in place because when I'm making a quilt or I'm making a blanket or I'm making a sweater it just takes so long so what happens is I have all of this footage over so much time and then when I put it into my computer what happens is it just dumps it in there and it does not leave the creation dates <laughs> so then I gotta go through all that footage to put them in order to do all this other stuff so needless to say it is a headache and the crazy part is I literally have footage for I believe three quilts from beginning to end well the end of the top and one of them I have it through quilting I believe anyways with that said, that just gave me one more um, reason to get my blog back going because I could just post progress pictures as I progress. And that's one of the things that she does that I have, and I can't remember the name right now. I don't know the name. I just love it and it comes to my email box. But um, it's one of the things that she does that just really inspired me. So with that said, I'm revamping Essence of Me. I will be coming back on with more blogs um, because I just, I love sharing and I love the progress. I still get questions all the time and I also am trying to pull back from social media. If you have, if you follow me on um Facebook, I post sometimes, I post more on Instagram just because I can post a picture and get off. Um, but I'm just trying to pull back because I have a lot of work to do. But the more I have work to do with writing and studying and classes that I'm teaching, the more I craft because that allows me to unwind. So the busier I get, it seems like it's the more projects that I have to share, but I'm not sharing them. And so with that said, EssenceOfMe.com is coming back, okay? I'm coming back. So, oh, FYI, you may see my crew move around in the background. And if you've been a subscriber with me for a while, you know that's how it works. So I'm going to show you what I have. Um, back to the original um intro into this video. The blogger that I like, I need to just find the name so I can quit saying the blogger that I like. She uh, posted about an upcoming quilt along and because I had time this morning to actually go over to her blog and read the full post and not just drool over the quilting pictures, <laughs> I was able to find out about this upcoming quilt along. And so I was like, I am down like four flat, flat tires. So I'm looking for her name, looking for her name. I don't see it. I must have deleted it. I'm down. One of the things that I am still doing, which is another reason why I have not recorded in a while, um, is because I'm working through all of my stash, my quilting stash, my yarn, I mean my fabric stash, my yarn stash. And so this is actually coming at a really great time. If you follow me on Instagram, I recently posted a picture of me organizing my fabrics into bags and I've been doing that. I've, I have my quilting stuff in little sets and I've been working on all of that. And so here's what I do. When I look at her pictures, I delete the emails because I don't want my inbox overflowing. And so now I can't find the name. I'm going to find it though because I want to shout her out. It's it's called Wedding Bl um, Wedding Dress Blue. 
And the quilt along is called Seeing Stars. Is that what it's called? Yes, Seeing Stars Quilt Along. And I will link both in the description box. I'm going to do it. So the instruction said that you need at least 18 to 25 fat quarters. I believe I have 18 to 25 in this container. Not certain, but I got enough that I know I can make it happen. I also have some smaller squares. And looking at the picture, I think I'll be able to use the smaller squares when we get towards the end. Um, she said there are some big blocks, some small blocks. Uh, I'm, I'm going to scroll through. <laughs> So I look starry-eyed because I'm looking at the blog post right now. There are um, some 25-inch finished blocks, 20-inch finished blocks, 16, 12, 8, and 4. And I believe for those 8 and 4, I should be able to use some of, some of these smaller squares in here. And I'm going to show you what I have. And yeah, okay, so here's the container. And what I did is when I was going through all of my fabrics, I started putting stuff in groups. I tried to do it either in theme or color scheme. And this one turned out to be like my flowers and solids. And the funny thing is I'm not really a flower fabric type of person, but I went through a season where either I just liked it and I bought it or it was in um, other fat quarter sets or I was in some sort of uh, subscription service and they came to me. So when I organized my fabrics, I put all of them in here together. Now, the one thing that this quilt along is suggesting is that you have background fabric of I believe it said, I'm going to link all of this, so just don't take my, you know, I'm going to link all of it. Um, I believe it's like four yards. It's 18 to 25 fat quarters for the actual fabric, and you need four and a half um, yards of background fabric. I have background fabric left over from when I made that wedding ringer quilt, so I, I'm almost certain I have four and a half yards of that. Like really, really pretty close to certain. If not, I have other tonal whites. Um, the other option that I have is that in here, I'm going to show you in a minute, I have a lot of solids in here. And so I believe that will also be an option. And all of the solids came from the same fat quarter bundle. So even if they're not the same, they will match. Okay. This quilt, I'm expecting it to be on the ugly side. Not like ugly, ugly, but like it's going to take, you know, a mother. I will love it. <laughs> I'm extra. I've had two cups of coffee and tea. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I have. Um, So I'm going to start with, I'm just going to go through these quick. Most of the primary colors are blue and purple, and there's a splattering of other things. There's also some fabrics in here that I just loved, and so I'm glad because she has some big blocks, and with those big blocks, I'm going to maybe fussy cut some of, some of these as much as I can to retain the fabric because I bought it mainly because I, I liked it. So here we go. I'm going to show you some of these smaller ones. Um, here, these came in a set, I believe when I was getting the quilty box and I used some of them in others, like it was some planes. Um, and now I'm so glad I saved them. So I just kept these and put them in this box. So these are the ones that I feel like kind of could be not necessarily fussy cut it, but these will be great for centers of blocks. I have this that I bought purely because it was purple and it has butterflies with this script on it. And I never took the time. 
It says prairie, meadow, grassland, but I bought it for the flowers and the fact that it was purple. Here's another one that I just like because it's my favorite colors. These both are full fat quarters. These others are five um, inch squares. Here are uh, there. This is also a mixture of patiques and um, standard fabric. And I don't know if I'll use the patiques, but we'll see. Here's some patiques. And actually, while I'm showing them to you, I will be separating them. Patiques. This is another one that's kind of been like, it just won't die. <laughs> I don't know. This was in a fat quarter set when literally like one of the very first fabrics I ever bought. And this is just a piece. Here's another one. And I got a chunk of this. Bought this to do something for my daughter. It was much too girly for her. I think this is maybe a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Might even be two. Here's another one of those ones that I just love this. And I've used pieces here and there. So I'd love to be able to have this as a centerpiece. This is less than, it's more, it's probably, yeah, it's less than one eighth, but it's more than a little, but like, you know, it's probably about the equivalent of a 10 inch. Here is a fat quarter. I'm kind of semi separating these here is a fat uh no I think this is like a half a yard fat quarter was in another bundle I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to go through all these I have a lot here was in a fat quarter I mean it's a fat quarter here is a fat quarter this is more than a fat quarter, but it came in a set. I think it's like a fat. I may have cut some. Isn't this pretty? It's like little gold dots. Love it, love it, love it. Fat quarter. This came in a set, even though it's really dark. So this may have to be a center because it is so dark in comparison to the others. But it's another one of the flowers. I mean, it's back to that flower thing. This is a fat quarter. Came in a bundle. This is another one that came in a set. Patique. Batique. Not patique. This is the one that I bought and I used in many sets. And I just love this one. I just love this fabric. This is just another favorite for me. Putting some of my favorites over here. Okay, then I have all of these that came in a fat quarter bundle, and I don't have the full bundle left, but these um, I purchased um, when I was doing my son's quilt to subsidize some of the fabrics that I had in his because I used jelly rolls a jelly roll and I needed more to make it bigger and so I used some of these to subsidize in his blanket and so these I have left and I think these could be used as background fabrics this is some fabric that I bought that I just loved again one of the first ones I remember when I did my very first sampler this was the fabric that I purchased it was some of this and some of this so if I very little but if I could use these in a like a forever quilt for myself I would love to here's another one of those ones that just won't die I think it came with in this set I bought it for this and I got these in there this was from my very first quilt um, which was a um, quillo and so I would love to use it even though technically it really doesn't go with this I wouldn't buy this now but I use this quilt every time I travel I use it almost I use honestly almost every day so I love it here's one of those that won't die same with that set here is some more that came it was in my very first quilt and it just was extra but it was in here um here and here first purchases and then here 
was also from my very first quilt, which is some remnants. Or not my first quilt, it was my first sampler quilt. And first um, sampler, it wasn't my first sample, you know, it was my first sampler and my first real quilt class. So that's everything. I I believe I oh and I have these petites. Um beautiful, 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 beautiful. And so I'm not sure if I will use this. I may actually put this to the side with the other three fat quarters that I have that are petites because I do have I think a whole um bolt of petites that I could use with this later if I wanted to, but it goes with this color scheme. So I put it in this container. So with all that said, I'm certain I have more than 18 fat quarters and um, the background fabric is a tonal white. And I believe if I use that, that will bring all of this together. Um, and because the quilt is made up of stars, I think that is, would make it a very um, interesting and nice project to make um, for practicing more of my free motion quilting because my other quilt that I'm um, working on I'm finishing is all squares. It's squares and triangles, I believe. No, it's almost all squares. So again, I think I could use all of this. So with that said, um, let me know in the comment section what you are working on. And if you decide to join this quilt along, uh, one of the benefits of this quilt along is that she's making it so that it may be possible to actually finish it while the quilt along is being hosted. And that's what I'm aiming for. It'll make it so I can just do a little bit at a time. I'm putting everything away while I talk to you. So I won't have to do two things later. I'll do it later. And I'm excited about seeing some of my favorites and my first fabrics in one project that I can keep for around the house. Whether it's for guests or for me. Um, let me know in the comment section what you're working on. Are you excited about me posting more? If you are, let me know in the comment section. I will be um, trying to, I can't guarantee that I'll be posting everything on, did I show these? I don't know if I did. Let me do it super quick. Here, I don't think I did. <laughs> these are more from the, oh, oh. Mm. oh, I almost lost you, I'm sorry. Here, here here and see this was from that first sampler I still have it so I may find a way to weasel it in here or put it use it on my quilt label and I have this 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 which I just I got this from a swap but I just love it so I'm gonna want to look I want to use it and I have this which is just super dark but I think it'll work if I did it as a middle square. So that is all. I'm certain I have enough fabric. So let me know if you're excited about me coming back. Now, um, as far as updates, my goal is to post updates on my blog because um, a part of this quilt along, they will be doing link ups. And also I will post when I have crafting days on Instagram because it is easier. So if you're on Instagram, you can just see the pictures there. Um, but my goal is to do post by my working sessions. That would just be so much easier um, to do. And it may even mean that I string along my videos during those times. And then if I do if I want to do a big video for YouTube, I could string those videos together, if that makes sense. So that is it. Let me know in the comment section what you're working on. It is so good to be back and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all hopefully sooner than later. Take care and goodbye.